These developments have been months in the making. Let's take a closer look at the timeline of the Portsmouth political fallout. Perhaps no one would expect the drama that would unfold this year in Portsmouth. It began June 10th when a man was seriously hurt during a demonstration at the city's Confederate monument. That incident led to Police Chief Angela Green announcing felony charges two months later against some high-profile attendees, including State Senator Louise Lucas. Respect our senators because not this time. That unleashed calls for Green's resignation, including from the Portsmouth Vice Mayor Lisa Lucas Burke who was also Senator Lucas's daughter. By September 1st, former Governor Terry McAuliffe and Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax joined the chorus calling for the charges to be dropped. Three days later, Portsmouth City Manager Dr. Lydia Pettis-Patton placed Police Chief Green on paid administrative leave. By September 8th, Dr. Pettis-Patton was back in the news, this time choosing to resign effective immediately. Later that day, City Council voted to fire Portsmouth City Attorney Solomon Ashby. Mayor John Rowe told 13 News Now that Ashby gave unbalanced advice to council members. Ashby later sued the mayor over those comments. That brings us to today, five months after the downtown demonstration and the Portsmouth shakeup came full circle. The city fired Chief Angela Green and a judge dropped the charges against State Senator Louise Lucas. It's a timeline not ready to be inked in pen, with a new Portsmouth mayor taking off office in January. Well, switching gears now and turning to the late